Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab using the Cisco Packet Tracer. In this experiment, I shall demonstrate the dynamic routing. So, in the previous experiment, I have given the explanation for the static routing. Now, the same setup I will be using here in order to demonstrate the dynamic routing. What we exactly did in the static routing is for each of these router, that is router 0 and router 1, we configured manually the routing table. Now, in dynamic routing, we don't have to do that. It is done by the routing protocol. So, dynamic routing, the route can be configured by the routing protocols like RIP, OSPF and border gateway protocol. RIP stands for routing information protocol, OSPF, open shortest path first and BGP border gateway protocol. So, these di this uh, dynamic routing can be used in large networks. Now, here in dynamic routing, in this demo, we are using the routing protocol called as RIP, routing information protocol. So, this protocol is the one which is carrying out the complete routing functionality from one network to another router. So, here the dynamic routing protocol that is used is RIP and I have a complete video lecture session on RIP, routing information protocol. So, that is lecture number 30 of computer networks theory series. You can watch that session for the complete details. So, basically what this RIP does is it is going to uh, get the root information after exchanging the packets from the neighboring routers. So, by itself it is going to construct its uh, routing table. Whereas previously in static routing, we have manually entered the uh, routing table for the routers. In static routing, the route is configured manually whereas in dynamic routing, it is configured by the routing protocol RIP. So, let us see what are the different steps here. Basically, we require this kind of setup. So, this is the same setup which I have used for the static routing. Now, but since all these routers are configured already using the static routing, let me delete those earlier configurations. So, I want this router as though I have connected freshly here in this setup. You can start giving your new configurations for both the routers. So, what is that you have to do now because you can check here the router interfaces have gone down now. You need to make it up. That means you need to assign the IP addresses. This is 192.168.16.1. So, let me give that IP address here 192.168.16.1. Okay. Make the port status on. Then next for this serial port also, click to this serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. What is the IP address? 192, sorry, 10.0.0.1. Subnet mask will appear. Make the port status on. And then next here, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. We wanted to give the IP address 172.16.1.1 and uh, subnet mask port status on. Similarly, here check for serial. Uh, serial port IP address is 10.0.0.2, 255.0.0.0 is the subnet mask. Port status is on. Close this. So, these were the settings. This is the same settings which we have this, this. So, these are the configurations. Now, these are the same configurations that we have carried out for the static routing. Now, only job what we have done is we have removed that IP route which we have configured manually to the routers. So, we have to give now in a dynamic manner using the routing protocol. So, you click to this router, go to the CLI mode. Fine. Now, you should be in the config mode. Okay. Here you, your job is to write the command router and which routing protocol you are using. R O U T E R router RIP, right? And there are two more commands you need to type here because this router, if you look here, this router, it is connected directly to the 16.0 and 10.0.0.0. So those two network addresses you need to type here. And that is very simple. Just type the command network. Okay, so this router is directly connected to 192.168.16.0. This is one command. Next, it is also connected directly to network 10.0.0.0. Okay, these two you need to type. That's all for dynamic routing complete the uh, the rest of the things will be will be taken care by the rip routing information protocol your job is only to give what to 
which networks this router 0 is directly connected with. Exit. Close this. Go to router 1. Same way. Go to the CLI. Network. To which router, to which networks it is directly connected. First type the command router. RIP. Then type network. It is directly connected to 172.16.0.0. Also, it is directly connected to. What is the error? Let us check here. Invalid input detected at. Uh, yes, this dot is not required. Then 172.16.0.0. Okay. Then there is, it is connected directly to another network. Network is the command. Then type the network address 10.0.0.0. Right. So, come out from this exit. Fine. So, this completes the steps for the dynamic routing. Now, the same setup I have used for the static routing. The same setup I am using for the dynamic routing. But I have changed the IP route configurations so there we are using the ip root command where in the static routing and dynamic routing we are using their protocol so we type router rip so this completes you can see all the interfaces are up it is shown in the green color now you can check whether these networks can communicate with each other go to pc0 or any pc of one network and type uh, the and type and try to ping pc2 or pc3 of the other network so we have to go to desktop Go to command prompt and type ping 172.16.1.100. This is what I am trying to do now. So, I want to ping PC2. I am in PC0 of network 1 and I am trying to ping PC2 of network 2. Yes, we are getting the reply. Communication is successful. Now, try to do one more verification. Try to ping from network 2. Select any one of the PCs and try to ping any one of the PCs of network 1. So, we will select PC3. Go to desktop and I will ping PC1. Command prompt. Ping 192.168.1.0.0. Yes, we are able to get the reply. So, even here communication is successful. So, this way you can implement dynamic routing using the Cisco Packet Tracer. Hope this session is useful to you all. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.